Good evening. Lovely to be here. Um, counting by my publisher, ooh, maybe uh, 450 million. No, a lot of, lot of kids have wanted another, another Rangers book and um, I said, no, I'm not doing any more. And then I thought, yes, I am. I'll do, I'll do the prequels. And uh, so this is the first of the prequels. I haven't always planned this one. The, the, the main series was planned pretty much from book four onwards. Uh, this one has been in the, the, the melting pot for about the last two, two to three years, where I realised that through the series I'd, I'd set up so many stories and little anecdotes that I thought, yeah, I can enlarge on those. And, um, and also I, I wanted to look at Holt and Crowley as young men. I, I used them in the um, book of short stories <coughs> as young men to see if they worked. And I, I was very happy with them as a pair. So I thought, yeah, I'll continue that. New? Well, there's a character that a lot of kids have asked about, and that's Pritchard, who was uh, the mentor for both Crowley and uh, Holt. He left uh, Araluen to go to um, Clonmel and trained Holt there. Kids always want to know who trained, trained um, Holt. It was old Pritchard, is his name. Uh, you'll also meet another, um, how many, about ten rangers, who, because the storyline is that it's a bit like the Blues Brothers. Um, Holt and Crowley are putting the band back together. They're re reuniting the Ranger Corps. So there's ten Rangers. There's more Gareth, of course. There's King Duncan. Well, he's Prince Duncan in those in, in these, these days. There's his father, the King. Um, and of course, uh, th this first book features the first meeting between Holt and Lady Pauline, where Holt becomes a tongue-tied idiot because uh, he's just absolutely overwhelmed by her. Yes, Europe, perhaps indeed. Uh, that was back in May. We, uh, my wife and I travelled. We were going to Holland where they have Grey's Jagerdag, which is Grey Hunter Day. They call it Grey Hunter there, not Ranger. Um, and that was over a weekend at a medieval theme park. Um, but on the way, we, so we decided we'd stop in Poland. The, the Poles have been asking me to come for about two years and I had no idea how popular the books were there and we just had the most amazing, amazing time. Um, I, mean, I was doing book signings that lasted four hours. Uh, it was sensational and, and the kids were fabulous. They were all turning up in costume and probably more than 50% were girls. It was very interesting. Um, but no, that was just great. And then Holland was, was just as good, just as much fun. Uh, you say I always say one more and then I write ten. Um, there will be one more, uh, certainly. Um, and then I'll look at it because there are a lot of backstories that I've mentioned just in passing. Now, there, was a, there was a giant that Crowley uh, captured and chained to a mill wheel in, in just these passing mentions. And I must, must uh, have a look at some of them. There's a witch they fought in, in one book. Um, so I don't know. I'm saying one because I'll do that. And then... I'm actually thinking I'll do a further book with Madeline, the Royal Ranger. So coming back to, from 20 years before the Ranger's Apprentice series to 16 years after it. Um, and of course I'm writing more brother bands. Uh, after that, I, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't want to stop. That's the good news, or the bad news. <laughs>